Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I literally just stopped and hit record again on our video on our uh, passive authentication using the Fortinet single sign-on solution. My name is Devin Adams and uh, let's rock and roll. So, uh, so in the last video we downloaded and installed the DC agent and also the collector agent. It rebooted our domain controller, okay, um, which is fine. How many of these how many of these windows do I have open? Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so we <laughs> downloaded it, we installed it. Wasn't too bad, right? But it made us reboot the domain controller. So, like I said, your your sysadmin might not like that, but it's okay. It's over with. All right. Hopefully, you have more than one DC, right, guys? Anyways, um, but you know what? It di it didn't look like anything happened. All right. So that's kind of why I wanted to pause it there and create a new video. So, how do we confirm that it worked? Well. Uh, for starters, the, the DC agent itself is just a service that's running in the background, right? Uh, so how do we confirm services? So I'm just going to, you know, I'll even do it easier. I'll right-click and hit taskbar, okay? And I get all the details here. Now, if you just see something like this, you have to hit more details. And there is a service tab. And then you kind of like sort it by name and if you just focus on the description here we should see something that says 40 something right Fortinet oh there we go the Fortinet single sign-on agent service there it is and it's and it's what guys it is running so there you go it did work it is running in the background it's monitoring for login events on the domain controller good times all right so but that's only one part of it the second part is the collector agent now the collector agent can live on a different server it does not have to be on the domain controller directly now if that's the case you got to make sure that you have port 8002 open on the domain controller and if I get a request I will stick the collector agent on a different machine just to show you how it's done but we're still not done here so the goal of this video is to actually uh, configure the FSSO collector agent, all right, and make sure that it's connected to the FortiGate, and then we'll stop there. So um, that's our goal. So let's go ahead and do it. So if you go ahead and hit the start screen, go down, you're going to see that we now have a whole bunch of 40 icons. Okay, so, and right here where it says configure the Fortinet single sign on agent, let's go ahead and click it, and you should have a screen that looks like this. Now, I'm going to stop right here. If you do have a dedicated um, um, server, right, that you're going to be looking at this thing, this thing is more than just a uh, configuration pane, okay, or configuration application. You can also come in here to see a lot of statuses, do a lot of maintenance, so on and so forth. So I'm actually going to come down here and pin this bad boy right on the taskbar, all right, so because I'm going to be in here more than than once okay so a couple of things here uh, on the collector agent itself you want to make sure that your firewall has 8000 and 802 being able to come in and out so I turned off the firewall in this testing environment just because um, it's not the focus right Windows is not the focus of these uh, videos but something to keep in mind here and also this bad boy right here Whatever password you put in here is the password that the FortiGate is going to authenticate with this collector agent right here. Now, this is separate than the DC agent. Okay, I hope that makes sense. But this is uh, this is real key here because that's where I see it fail a lot. People will fat finger this password and they won't be able to connect. So I'm just going to put in a nice complex password it's password but in real life it'd be nice and long and complex anyways so and uh, yeah anyways um, but we're not done yet we're not done yet okay so a couple of things here uh, I am going to uh, let's see here select domains to monitor so there we go this tells me that the collector agent is in fact monitoring it ninja dot lab all right and then 